you're on. My name's Anne, and you're watching the Charlie Beach Show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dan, and you're watching the Tyler Beach Channel. Thanks, Dan. Okay, guys, uh, there's a police response. There's a flashy, flashy blue police, well, blue lights flashing, as you can see. And, uh, sorry. And look, it's Mr. Blue. Hello, Mr. Blue. And, uh... Quiet little man, quiet little man. So, uh, this boy here apparently was the fire extinguisher one. Excuse me, what are you doing? What am I doing? What do you mean asking me what am I doing? I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. It's quite clear what I'm doing. What is it? Taking I'm, pictures? I'm, no, taking a video. Taking a video. Yeah. And there's another policeman at the bus stop here. So, uh, is this Rishi suit? Oh, here's some more. Here we go. It's all kicking off. Let's get. Let's get. See if we can get some like shot without the reflection. Oh, he's giving me the not allowed hand. <laughs> Oh, they hit him. They hit him. They the, the little kids that are with the police assaulted the man at the bus stop. Yeah. Do you know why? Because he's homeless. Oh, because he's homeless. What horrible little children. Now there is a square jawed copper. Yeah, that's the alpha cop. That's a super chad cop. That's, that's it. He's a, he's a Nor Nordic alpha. Descended of the Vikings himself. No, 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 no. Been married Hello, how's it going? No, 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 don't record me please because I'm with the uniform. I just need to know, are you the guy that helps the people um, not to take them, not to get the, the fines with the cigarettes? Yes, I'm one of them. Amazing. Just to say, amazing job. Thank I you should, very much. I should know you before I get my fine. Thank you, yeah. I follow your job and it's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I am. How do you know? Que legal, eu sou brasileiro aqui fazendo um vídeo pro meu YouTube. Meu, meu pai escocês, mãe brasileira, então... Mas português é... fantástico. Obrigado, tem um sotaque de gringo um pouco, né? <risos> não, não, não. Obrigado. Não, não. Uh, o meu manager está um pouco preocupado com o facto de estar a, a gravar. Mas, mas eu estou aqui do lado está... de fora, yeah, I'm outside. Está... Você está um, num, num sítio público, pode gravar yeah. à vontade. Exactly. Eu tenho, eu tenho andado a acompanhar os seus vídeos. Assim, Thank you very much. Não, não I appreciate that. Não se Thank you, take care. So, uh, the very nice lady in Portuguese said that the manager is a bit concerned with the, the video, but the way I see it is that I'm on the outside, I'm only looking in. <coughs> shh, kiddies, shush. What, what would your mum and dad say? You were my kids until you now get Oh, they get smashed. Yeah. I think the, the money shot all the viewers are waiting for is for the... I'm probably too young to be arrested properly, are they? No, no, no. Criminal age is 10, and they're over 10, okay. I think. Yeah. They might be malnourished 15-year-olds, for all we know. So I have a, a little bit... Money on a Gucci bag, Gucci. So. I have a little bit of compassion for them, because... Yeah. Without good parents, you never know what's going to work out for you. He's telling the cop to shut the fuck up before. Was he? Hi. Shh. Relax, little guy. I'll get a different angle so they don't Relax. get too fired up. Relax. Okay, here's the alleged victim of an assault. It, he does appear to be a vulnerable homeless gentleman. So uh, it's good to see the police standing up for the vulnerable against the, the young kids. 
So it's uh, four minutes since the last clip. I have brought you in the time machine to four minutes in the future. The two young detained gentlemen uh, who are suspected of an assault. He's rapping, he's doing a rap. They're, they're, they're throwing raps and gang signs and all sorts of uh, funny little man threats. It's like, uh, I do feel sorry for them, but they shouldn't go around punching homeless people, allegedly, allegedly. Okay, latest developments, you're now five minutes in the future, is the uh, blue latex gloves come on for the cavity search. I mean the body search to make sure they don't have any weaponry or... Contraband. And he's just proven he's a cop. The kid's like, show me your ID, blah, blah, blah. And the cop is about to search them. Two cops are about to search them. And again, apologies for the reflection. I don't want to press up against the glass because then I'd be interfering with police work and let them let them do what they need to do we'll hopefully get some scenes when they come outside here we go here we go here we go so latest developments five minutes in the future now is a vape confiscation of the little guy on the left he is clearly under 18 or he may be a very malnourished 18 year old but uh my, uh, my belief here is that uh, they're going to be details taken and uh, released, left, left to go about their own devices in the centre of Manchester. This video is punishment enough. It really is. So, thankfully my friend Fred has said, should these boys not be at school? And uh, the answer is yes, they should be at school right now. Wasn't me. Wasn't me, BP, BP. Mr. Blue, you're not a drug dog, are you? You're not a narc. You're not a narcotics agent. Some of the pedestrians getting nervous. Is the dog going to sniff me? Nah, the dog ain't no snitch, are you? He's got the reflective, <laughs> uh, reflective collar on. So. He does. Oh, he's got the tennis ball color. color. <laughs> so what's going on here with our, with our guys? They're... Uh, the police are going to kill them with boredom. These kids would be rather out there causing mayhem, but they're being forced to stand here for half an hour. Can only be a good thing. Okay, ladies and gents, we are awaiting a potential money shot. Dirk Diggler, Dirk Diggler wants the money shot. Ron Jeremy wants the money shot. Um, Jenna Jameson wants the money shot. And uh, Riley Reed. Oh, I don't know these modern ones. I, I never watch that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Three, sorry, four of the officers have spilled out of Morrison's to go back to their Peugeot 308, the favorite uh, brand of, oh look, there's a little one in the balaclava being um, detained. Here you go. So uh, a third youth in a balaclava has joined the other two, and uh, he is uh, most certainly being detained. Oh, he's, he's acting tough again. What's this little boy going to do, read me nursery rhymes or something? The tough guy is going to get me. Tough kid. Come on, no, no, come on, don't walk fast. So, uh, the new balaclava boy, I don't know if you can see him. No. But, uh, yeah, we'll come back when uh, the situation develops. One sec.
Okay, Balaclava boy is handcuffed. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to do that. Did you do that on purpose? No, no. Are you sure? Oh well. Yeah, you can. He's just a child. Why you take pictures? He is a child, but he has obviously committed something that the police suspect is a criminal act. Yeah, so uh, it's maybe he will get a, yeah, a, but a better the, future, but the picture will destroy his life. Nah, it's important to document it, but thank you, madam, for your opinion. Not every day you see a a very small child in a balaclava. Now, uh, before the viewers get overexcited, um, I don't think the police would be doing this without good reason. So um, we'll just wait and see. And as a as a father who uh, comes to the city centre quite often, um, we do need to. How do I put this politely? remind people who want to tear society apart that there's still big men that will try and keep society together. Okay, we'll come back if there's any movement. I think I overheard that he is 11 years old. And I believe the age of criminal knowledge, criminal liability, I don't know the right words, is 10 in this country. You're not going to shove the camera in my face. Why did you shoulder barge me in the store? Go and call all your boys, call your uncle, call your mum and dad. It's okay. Call your mum and dad, mate. You shouldn't shoulder barge people when they're working. Should you? Anyway. <laughs> Go on. I shoulder barged the photographer and now he's filming me. <laughs> so, um, shoulder barger is uh, reporting your humble narrator to the police because that's what I deserve. They don't, do they? Okay, the first one is being removed. And here's the second one. I think the second one's more um, more interesting. Sadly, these little prick jobs. Watch when I see you, you're gonna get blasted. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> the little man says, I'm going to get blasted next time he sees me. You know, I've done YouTube for on and off for 14 years, but being, being threatened with a shooting by a by an 11 year old boy is a, a new low for the channel. What would your parents say? What would your parents say? Where are they? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Good work, GMP, good work. Keeping the streets uh, safe. And there you go. That's it, these guys are crying over spilt salt. It literally happened right now. <laughs> guys, have anyone got a vessel? This is my party stuff for tonight, no! No, no, this is like 150 quid's worth. I've just dropped my powder, guys. Anyone got a, can, I've, come on, can you help me snort it up? Anyone got a straw? Has anyone got a straw? Shut up. Well, 
At a bar. You were in a public place. I'm sorry if I took your picture, but I assumed that you were cottaging. No. No? What were you doing down there? We walked through. So why did you run away all guilty when I asked you? I, did, I didn't run away. You I, look... just, I just put my hand up. I didn't want my picture taken. Okay, well, I apologize if I made you feel bad. You're clearly not a cottager, and I'm sorry. Right, no, so... Not about ten people have said to him, is that ten views? Well, just say, that, just say the, the filmmaker's wrong. Yeah, 10,000 views, views. Yeah, just say that I'm wrong. Just say no that I'm wrong. Charla. Cut it. Cut! Literally. <laughs> so, I say, you want taco or you want tori? No, we don't like tori, we like taco. Socialista Mexicano. Are you a Mexican or a Mexican? Anyway, the message is tacos, not Tories. Uh, yeah, that'll save the world. So, did the viewers know that Ramsden's pawnbrokers here in St. Anne Squares, Square, uh, was robbed recently. A man uh, with a hammer, well, before he revealed the hammer, he asked to look at a 50,000 pound Patek Philippe watch, and then he produced the hammer, and then he left. And that happens quite a lot these days in places like Manchester. He said, Don Roberto, let him into the bar. He's not caused trouble since the pasta incident in 1969. He's a good man. Let Don Roberto back in the pub. Hey, good value, Granny. How are you? Hi, and who are you? We're the bleeding LEU. I'm the guy that made you famous. Remember you? How are you? Yeah, how are you? Oh, good to see you, yeah. You want a photograph of my baby? I do. Come here, baby. Come, Come here, doggy. Oh, He's a good it. doggy, yeah. yeah. How oh, are you, anyway? I'm all right. My viewers loved you everything you were... get ready for Georgie's Day. You better come and film, film down here on the 23rd of April. I promise you I will. I'll you be here. You better do or else I'll cut your cock off. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'll, I'll try and maintain my Pinor for today, oh, and I'll see you on St. George's Day. All right. Thank Let you. Me, do you want a pint? I'd love one. I'm working. I've got to carry All on. Right, but thank you very much. Oh, you're very see you. welcome. This is Manchester Cathedral. They are filming something, so we are not allowed to go in and praise the big G.